Hey everybody, this is Randy with Carchaeology, and I want to share a very interesting find with you. This little blue box was found up at the Anza Estate inside the house underneath this old console stereo. It was completely covered in dust. I've given it a good wipe off. And when I opened it up, I was really blown away with what I found inside. So what we have here is a stereo viewer of sorts. So slides are put into this and then you push a little button and it lights up. So the stereo realist viewer is what it's called. And looking at the uh, information within this book here, I think this dates to about 1946. Uh, Sally at the ranch, 1946. I see that note there. Um, something like that. So it's somewhere late 40s, uh, certainly. Uh, and it's a very heavy item. It's uh, made out of Bakelite, uh, which is, you know, obviously a, a, a plastic type material. Um, it had no batteries in it. And so we opened it up. And fortunately, what was inside was really clean. So I didn't see any sort of uh, crazy corrosion or anything in there. Although it did take a little gentle cleaning of the contacts to get it to light up. Um, so now you can see when you push the button here, you can light the thing up and then see what's in there. So that in itself is interesting, but what is most interesting are the slides that were within it. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to show you these, but I'll do my best. So let me pop one of these slides in here. All of them are numbered. Uh, they weren't in order, but, uh, but they're numbered up. So let's see if I can get the camera down in here and light this up. There we go. So as you can see, this is a photo of a Nash automobile, and this shows the reclining seat that's in there. And these were obviously studio shots um, that were taken back in the day. So let me get on to some of the more interesting ones here. That one's probably the least exciting of the bunch. Uh, let's go with number 13, see what we got going on there. Now, this one really blew me away. So take a look at this. It looks like a Nash Metropolitan, but check out that funky grill. Now, in doing some research, apparently this was a prototype for the Nash Metro. Now, I've not looked up the exact date that they made this car, but that would certainly date these photos. But this was long before the Metro was available to the public. And you can see that they used an interesting grill section from another car on there. I also love the, the Nash graphic that's up there on the wall. You know, this is a show car thing. It's behind the red stanchions. Super rad. And here's another view of that Nash Metropolitan prototype. Now, I did look this up. Yeah, it, they called it the X something or other, so certainly experimental. Uh, and apparently it was based on the, the chassis of, uh, of a Fiat or something like that, which is very interesting. Um, and when they produced the car, they had obviously gone to Austin to use mechanical stuff. But I have never seen this car before. This was super exciting for me to check it out. There is some information online if you hunt down and look that up. And if you do, please share what you find here in the comments. So let's get on into the next one here. Now this one's kind of coming apart. Unfortunately, it's not very viewable here, I don't think. Yeah, that one's a wasted one. Uh, number seven. Let's see what we got here with number seven. There you go. Check out that Nash convertible. Now, I really love the layout of these studio shots. The color and everything is just fantastic. And, uh, and some of them are even more spectacular than that. Okay, let's check out slide number eight. That's, again, the convertible. Uh, but with the top down, you can see some props in the background, the good shiny floor great colors and layouts. So what I don't know is if these were things that were uh, for advertising and maybe this was a unit that was used to share 
the photos or if it was something that was in the dealership or whatever. Uh, check out this photo here of this Nash with the golf clubs and the suitcase and the kind of faux stone, faux stonework out front there. And really beautiful photography. Now, if anybody recognizes these images from advertising or anything like that, I would love to know that. So do a little research and see. This one's probably my favorite. That wagon is absolutely spectacular. You got your luggage, your ice chest, your golf clubs, all your camping gear. What a beautiful car. And let's get into here. Now, the story behind these things is, is a bit of a mystery. Um, oh, this one's fantastic. That cutaway Nash body is super cool. You know, what a, what a neat thing. Whatever happened to that car? Uh, but in any case, back to the story of these. Uh, these came from uh, that Anza estate. And the owner of that estate, Clem, had worked for Nash at one point. And from what I recall, he worked at the Nash uh, distribution warehouse in Los Angeles. Uh, and he would basically take anything they were throwing away. So I'm assuming that this is something that they had tossed and he saved uh, and kept all these years. Now, here's a really fun image of the inside of a Nash and the way that the seats fold out into a bed. Uh, so this little nighttime shot here with the cute couple and their... Uh, uh, sitting in the Nash is pretty fun, very well lit. Uh, there's just a few more slides here. I'll try to go quickly through them. Uh, here's a dashboard shot. Uh, I always love these dashboards with that uh, little center gauge there, the optic eye or whatever they call it. It's uh, a really cool little cluster that's got several things in it. And down to the final two, here's slide number 10. Uh, another just really nice photo of a Nash. And the very last one in the batch here, which is number one. Awesome. Absolutely love those colors, the layout, the lighting of that shot. Rad. So what's the story behind this whole thing? I really have no clue. Has anybody ever seen another one of these? Uh, I would, if you find the backstory on how these slides came to existence, please share it with me here in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this very interesting little artifact in our archeological hunt. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Bye-bye.